Hello again. Uh, today we're going to install a dynamic menu in OpenBox on Arch Linux. So it will end up looking like this. Uh, this will end up being installed on our regular right-click menu as we have here. Uh, you can add it anywhere you like into your menu. Uh, I normally like to build also a left-click menu which has this dynamic menu all by itself. That way I can kind of separate things and have uh, a regular right-click menu with all my shortcuts that I normally use and some uh, preferences for configuration. And I uh, just have all my shortcuts, but when I need to actually find a program, I can just go into my left and it uh, less navigation for me, I find. So this program, uh, these menus that we're going to install, they automatically update. Um, that's why they're dynamic. And so if I install a new web browser, it should show up in my internet here. Um, and then what we're going to install also uh, fetches all the icons for everything that's installed. So it kind of looks nice. So instead of having a drab menu here that we might have to manually add icons to, uh, this new menu will automatically generate them for us and display them. So the first thing we need to do is install a few items. So from the main Arch repositories, we need menu cache and LX menu data. Uh, these two items will generate the, the menu for us uh, from the install programs and display the icons. Uh, we need a couple of items from the AUR, which is the user repository for Arch. Um, we need openbox dot xdg menu, uh, which is uh, for Dynamics also, and the main command that we will be using to generate the menu, which is openbox menu. So I will pause, and you can install those, or you can pause. Sorry and install those items and then come back. So the next thing we need to do is to actually add the command to our menu so it loads it. So what we need to do is go into our home.config open box menu.xml and we can open that in our favorite editor which is here. Um, what I've done is taken right above my run programs and we're going to add a new separator just to make it look nice. So I usually just copy and paste. New separator. Add another space for a line and then we copy this line that I have here, which is menu execute user bin open box. Uh, make sure you leave this space in between the program that it's looking at and what it's going to, the menu that it's going to be generating from. Because um, this program here, open box stop menu from uh, the user repository, actually looks at etc xdg menus and you can see that there's several menus in there that you can actually link to um, and you can try to use them if you like and see what they look like for you um, so there's the kde applications menu and there's xsc application menus um, if you install gnome dash menus from the Arch repositories, it will show up in here as GNOME application menus. And you can actually replace this LXDE applications menu with that if you like, if it looks better for you or it generates better. But I use the LXDE because it just looks nice for me. So, so we have that. Oops. So we're going to copy and paste this. Well, at least I will. Sorry, you're going to have to type it. <laughs> So we paste that in there, we save it, 
Now for all this to actually show up in our menus, uh, we have to tell Openbox to reconfigure itself. So we're going to use Openbox space dash dash reconfigure. Uh, you can also use Openbox space dash dash restart also to generate uh, to reconfigure your open box and as you can see it gives us a nice menu that I've put in the top and you can see the two separators that I've I've put there so now to go to a left click menu and build that uh, what we need to do is open up the open box menu editor uh, the GUI one, the graphical user one, and we just tell it new and then we say new item into that new menu and as you can see it gives you a menu ID number. That number you need to put into your RCXML which is in your .config open box file where your menu file is. So we open up our, dot, our rc.xml and we scroll pretty much to the bottom and you will find a section called menus right here. And you can see there's a client list combined menu which should be your middle mouse button. And that menu will give you all your desktops and allow you to switch programs. Um, kind of like a quick alt tab I guess without hitting the keyboard. Um, so usually what I do is I'll just take the normal right click menu mouse bind that they have here, take that, copy it, paste it in below like add yourself a space and then copy and paste and change right to left here uh, you leave everything else the same, press, show menu, but that ID number that it generated here, you need to put in here. So you can save that and then you scroll all the way down and you can see that it says that you can specify more than one menu file in here. So normally it will have listed the normal menu XML so now for your your new left click menu that you generated with the graphical user interface you can rename, rename that left menu save it and then we'll open it back up again uh, without the, the GUI because the GUI can't handle the next command that we're going to do so we're going to add left XML which is the name of the, the file that we generated in our uh, .config open box uh, directory in our home. So here's my left XML, my special menu, and this is my right click menu that's normally installed with open box. So in here, once we open up our new menu we built, we should see the ID number already installed here and the label that we gave it. Um, then we have execute, a new execute line. So the same line that you put into your your main menu file right here between the two separators. Just take that, copy and paste it into your new left click menu uh, right below the ID and the label and make sure you have the rest of this as it shows here save it go into the your terminal again say open box reconfigure and you should have a nice shiny dynamic menu all by itself um, if you like you can also edit this menu and instead of having everything on a right click menu you can grab things from here also and add them to your left and it will show up in there if you like so if I take this menu item here for my run program
reconfigure. There's my run program right here, which will be my GM run, and that will show up there. Um, you can just add a separator in there to make it look better. So that's it. Hopefully you get this right. Uh, enjoy your new dynamic menus, and um, till next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.